topics Re quickly eight nine and ten number eight the destruction of america let me tell you something you can look in any journal any manuscript any political manuscript any journalistic manuscript archives everything anything that you will find about america is that america is really the only superpower in the world that god called this country december of 1979 god spoke to me in audible voice said i called america it took me several weeks to find out what he's talking about then he said i called this country i anointed this country yes you'll go through hard times difficult times bad times rebellious times uh, tumultuous times i mean impossibly difficult times but i will raise her up and she will be my instrument she will be an instrument in my hand that I will use in the last days to pour out my spirit and my fire and my glory. The end time last day revival will start right here in the United States of America. Let me tell you real quickly. It's very, very soon now and America will be restored to what she should be. And then it's going to be like the same as it was with our former president. Everybody, China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, all of the devil's countries and people. And then they'll come and say, you know what? We want peace and we, we need your help. And, and, and we'll, we got to get this from you and we got to buy that from you. Well, you have to pay the tariffs and the rates and so on. China and all those, they will do it happily so that they can stay alive. Let me tell you something right now. The anointing of God is on the United States of America. He doesn't need me. He doesn't need you. He doesn't need the former president. He doesn't need anybody, but he's called us. And he's going to use us all in the calling that he's called us unto, not because he needs us to, but because it gives him a thrill to use us, and he loves it. And so everyone that's called, whether it's politically, medically, financially, corporately, spiritually, ministry whatever it is we are all going to fulfill our calling and our destiny in the united states of america and we are about to get raised up by god starting in the church the fire of god will cleanse us the glory of god will transform us hallelujah and the gold of the world will equip us and we'll go get the harvest hallelujah hallelujah yes Glory. that's about to happen come on that's about to happen and those two go together. Point eight, the destruction of America. Point nine, the, the global economic collapse. Just the opposite is going to happen. Exactly just the opposite is going to happen. And all of the prophetic words and things that you find in the Old Testament, especially Isaiah. I just love Isaiah 60. Oh, my God. We, don't we love Isaiah 60? Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They will come. Oh, rise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The earth shall be in darkness. And great darkness shall be upon the people. But the Lord, that's what verse 2, will arise over you. And his glory shall be seen upon you. You who? The church. That's not Israel. God never promised to pour his glory on Israel. Show it to me. Show it to me. Here you see people that will have, oh my God, I feel that morning God so strong. Now have the glory of God poured upon him. Jesus said, not to Israel, to his disciples who become the church. I've given you my glory. So that's about to manifest now. Paul says he will raise up a glorious church without spot or wrinkle. Well, church is everything but that. As an institution, global institution is the opposite of that. It's a million mess. The devil is urinating all over every day, all the time. It's a mess. I'm telling you what, God. <laughs> You, my, 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 arise and shine for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is upon you. And his glory shall be seen by faith. No, 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 upon you. Upon you. Who is he talking about? All those who run to Christ in these last days and be born again, they'll be part of the glorious church. Hallelujah. Because he's going to shake the heavens, the earth, the sea, the dry land, and all nations. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And they're all coming, running to the desire, capital D, the desire of all people, which is the Lord. And then I will fill this house with glory. Israel? No, 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 no. The last day revival people coming to salvation and the church, the glorious church. Oh, my God. Second Corinthians 3, 18, the glory. You will look and behold the church. The epistles written to the church, the church, the church, the church, the church. We will come, Ephesians 4, 13, Paul says, and reach and, and come into the fullness of the measure of the stature of Christ. That means you fill his shoes from top to bottom, bottom to top. That means you're filled with glory. 
Second Corinthians chapter 3 18. You'll look at yourself in the mirror and see the glory of the Lord upon you. Hallelujah. In this book, chapter 8, we talk about the glorious church, the super dominion, supreme dominion of the glorious church of the last days. I wish somebody else would preach anything like this because this is what God is about to do. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you. It was never promised to be poured out upon Israel as a people, as a body, as a nation, as a believers of Judaism. No, 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 no. The glory is of Christ. The glory is of the new covenant. Christ is of the new covenant. Hallelujah. Christ is in heaven interceding for the dumb, bound, stupid church. But in God, Holy Spirit is here. And he's going to blow the glory of God into us. Thank you, Lord. And raise us up in this glory. Hallelujah. And the glorious church will reach full dominion in the earth also by the transfer of the gold because they'll come from Isaiah said they'll come from everywhere they'll come from other nations they'll come from afar they'll come from all over the world to bring with them their gold and their wealth and lay it at your feet your doors or gates as they use uh, the, the translation there shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring to you the wealth of the Nations, glory to God, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah. My, my, my. Stop living in fear, stop looking at the indicators, stop looking at the white hands. Very soon, you'll be able to look at all those things, and they'll all be right back into place. You see, Paul didn't tell you that the glorious church will be there from the first day. He will present it to himself in the end, a glorious church when he comes. So right there close before the time of the Lord Jesus coming, the glorious church will be raised up so that she can be presented to him at his coming. The prophecy of Isaiah, arise and shine for your light is or just has come. And the glory of the Lord is now risen upon you. There'll be a time when this will happen. When it happens, we will arise. We will shine. The glory of God shall be seen upon us. And then the traffic will explode. And everybody will coming running to us. They will come from other nations because the light, you would look like, I mean, a billion volt light bulb. Boom. That's come. I mean, you would be like, shoo, bigger than, than the biggest uh, bright spotlights. At a football game, you, you, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna light up like a million light bulbs in one. Glory to God for the light of the glory, not earthly light, not man's light, not an electric light, holy light, God's light, glory light, hallelujah, of the Lord shall be seen upon you. And then what they'll see and the power, the beauty, and the glory of it, they'll just come running, jump on planes and boats and ships and stuff, and they're coming, they're coming because it'll hit here in America. Hit here first. We'll hit the church here. This is what will happen. That's where all the traffic will come here. From the nations of the world will come. Hallelujah. And if you look at the last verse of Isaiah 60. The last verse. 22. 22. It says God. When that time comes. That the glory be poured upon you. That you see the glory. Then he will expedite things. Because he says in the last verse. Verse 22 of Isaiah 60. He said. I will hasten this to perform it. So when it begins to come. What? The glory. When he pours the glory on you. From there on. Time is like nothing. It's just accelerated all the way to the rapture. Just fast. Boom. From the time that you arise. When the glory is seen upon you. From then on. I will accelerate and expedite and speed up everything real fast, real quick, real quick, quick. And see, now, point number 10, my last point is I'm out of time. I'm out of time in more ways than I'm out of time. I need to start closing. Close. No, not quite yet. Out of time. This last week's E Truth newsletter, we talked about time. Oh, I wish people read that. I have more to say about time. The Lord has more to say about time. Next time. Next time is next newsletter. Next time. So next time we'll say more about time. Go back and read the one about time. And the next time we'll say more about time. And you can read more about time. And you learn more, more, more about time. It's about time. 
we learn more about time because in the church we've been ignoring time for so long we've lost out on all the time and the times of god and look stupid all the time and the devil laughs at us and people look every day christians to see if there's a thousand years to come before jesus comes back though they may not even be a thousand days before he's here now pastor tim you did this i'm going to close with this we talked about this uh before you know if a day is as a thousand years then an hour you calculated this an hour yes. is like 41.6 years yes, right sir correct right so 1948 the beginning of the last generation so 41.6 years brings you right there to the end to 89 my first year in america thank you lord and so we got another oh my god we got another 41.6 that'll take us to don't know if we're still here don't know how the lord will do this thing now because he's keep changing it but that'll take us to 2030 right well 2030 is really from the time that israel began to have problems 110 years that's an interesting thing so the next so from 89 approximately until say 2030 is the last hour approximately john says first john 2 18 beloved it's the last hour it wasn't then but it's now and it's the hour of the glory of the lord god's hour has come jesus said my hour has come and he went and died for us he's sitting in heaven now saying my hour has come i'm going back on the clouds to get my children as i promised the first children the disciples that i'll come and get my children and their 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 children everyone that is born of the blood and the salvation of the lord jesus christ people i tell you i feel the glory of god Great are you, Lord. Jesus, Lord. Oh, King of kings, Lord of lords. Possessor of all things. He that has inherited all things. He rules the universe from the right hand of the Father's throne. He's sitting on the edge of his chair and he's looking at the Father and says, My hour is about to come. It is before me now. My church will receive my glory and then I will come and they'll see me in my glory. And I'll receive them in my glory. And I'll bring them to your glory, Father. I'll come and lay them at your feet here at the throne of glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, praise God. World peace, world peace is at the door. World peace is at the door. Let me ask you this. Who is the Prince of Peace? Don't let your minds be filled. What did Jesus say about him going, preparing place and come back? He says, let your hearts not be troubled. The last days are not about trouble. They're about glory. They're about the outpouring of the spirit on all flesh, signs, wonders, miracles, miracle, millions billions of situations they are about the glorious church that god will raise up that the world and the nations will see god pour his glory into us and we'll rise and we'll shine and our light will come and the nations will come they'll come to the light they'll come to the radiance the, the isaiah says they'll come to the radiance of your glory yes they'll come to the radiance of our glory when our bodies have been turned into glory filled and glorious light bulbs of god's glory hallelujah hallelujah that comes before us. Awake, you that sleep. Arise us to righteousness. Do not slumber anymore, but rise up and say, Praise God. Praise God. Rise up because we're about to arise in the glory of the Lord. World peace, you betcha. The transformation of the earth, you betcha. The restitution, restoration of all things, you betcha. Before us. World peace, yes. Watch out till you hear what we have to say next week by the Spirit of God. We're still talking about world peace. As they say in the South, 
it's going to get just good. Hallelujah. And good. And good. Praise God. God bless you. Come back, watch us. Tell people, tell Christians, tell pastors, be part of our ministry. Support. Send an offering. Be our partner. Let's do it. Let's do it. We bring God's life giving word and message for the hour to the church. And it is like God. Just add another O. It is good. In Jesus' name. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.